Kyler, as you stand and awake, you find yourself remembering from the night before. Sleep gave way to a dream, and you find yourself recalling it now. Recurring, just like before. Playing a game, <clears throat> just like before. On a multi-sided board. And once again, beside you, sits Arn, Cyrus, but now other bannermen and knights, recent additions you've come to know. From a side profile, you see Crenshaw, with his telltale large nose and mutton chops. He stares intently at the board, never taking his eyes off of the game. The side of his head is cut away to see what looks like some kind of gears turning on one another, endlessly calculating every move. A sudden chill at your side causes you to turn to the left, seeing Knight or Elena. Cold vapor seems to pour off of her, and as she puts a hand on your shoulder, the touch stings like ice even under your clothing. She smirks, however, and nods to the board, all eyes turning to the pieces that continue to move just like before. The players are the same from last time, but different. The Baron, undoubtedly the robber Baron, has his chin in his hand as if measuring his next move. The forest and the men behind him are the same, but now you see just behind them the quarry, the mines. The robber Baron's men rim the edges of the outcroppings there, barring entry to any who might enter. The Imperial soldier <coughs> from before is now no longer a soldier, but an older, balding man you don't recognize. He speaks in a language you don't understand. And when he does, liquid fire dribbles from the corner of his mouth and embers can be seen in his eyes. An icon born on a necklace about his chest is one you've seen before. An icon of Sotar. It glows and burns with a light that hurts your eyes. You painfully look away. And finally, the three-headed thing. No doubt, Kovaz, Amim, and the Baroness. Kovaz and Amim argue with one another even more fervently than before, each arm reaching over across the lolling head of the Baroness to struggle with one another. Amim finally seems to give up and turns away, but when he does, you see Kovaz enraged scoop up a handful of game pieces from the board and hurl them across at the bald imperial instinctively you reach a hand out to stop it but time seems to seems to have slowed to a crawl observing the players in this moment you see the robber baron laughing arms crossed his face still Get cycling away, through an amalgam of noble faces you've seen before all the faces laughing haughtily at kovaz's outrage mm. Kovaz's eyes are filled with pure hatred, while Amim's eyes are closed. In the slow motion that unfolds, you see them open, but they're cloudy, dull, and seemingly blind. Deep beneath the unkempt tresses of the Baroness's hair, it's impossible to see her face, but hearing something, you look down upon the game board, and you can see just beneath her head trickles drops of blood that have hit the surface of the table, each measurable to the size of a I will get her some drinking water, but she's You finally a bit go of a to mess. size up the Imperial with one of the night. game pieces sailing at his head, but before <laughs> you can get a read on her. That stuff is really what? good, you know. You see a hand move across a board that doesn't belong to any player. Well, the same hand from before. Don't drink. It goes to play a alcohol. card amidst the pieces the in the middle of the table once again, but this time you're fast. You grab for it by the wrist, but narrowly okay. miss. I don't in the darkness where the head should be connected to that arm, connected to that hand. Ah, you can always ask her two mom. red eyes recede into the blackness of the dream. And you awake. I should help you. We're sweating most of the night. That's why I had to get more water. <clears throat> yeah. Let me see your hand. Come on. Can you open your fingers? Such a nice 
nice clean though. Morning. Oh. Morning. Some drinking water. <clears throat> Are you okay? When you're ready for it. It's not hurting as much anymore. From what I was told, you had that bone mending potion before you went to sleep. Alright, I did. But I remember that. Nothing. The drink is what you let you sleep. Thank a bomb for that. I suppose I will. Here, sit up. What's uh on the schedule today? <laughs> you poor thing. It is awful. Why do people do this to them? Training, as always. It's, it's it is so fun, mm. that's why. It's not fun. This this <coughs> This is not fun at all. Uh, do you just exist with bags under your eyes? It can be fun. How about I don't that? sleep very well. There? I um cleared you a shelf. If you want to use it for anything, you know. Kazim? Yes. Do you mind if Thank I you. use your kitchen? <laughs> Go ahead. Thank you. Of course. Up early. Good. Always. I have sent Crenshaw. To gather some information. He will be back towards the evening. I will have a task for you. We'll discuss later. <coughs> Spend today giving yes. yourself some provisions. Something will last you about four days. We can do when that. you're done training, I'll need some help with the forge. You got it. Blade Armory, he will meet you at the front door. I must speak to my son. <clears throat> How are things going? <clears throat> with her? Yes, my boy, with the night. <clears throat> um, good. It took a while for me to get used to it, I suppose. Like a splash of cold water. I'm doing my best to keep up. She, she's not there to be your friend, she's there to train you. I know. That's why she acts the way she does. Yeah. Bit of pride there. <clears throat> as it would be with any knight. You're gonna have to feel each other out. I, uh, just... But she spoke with myself and Grinchon. Go ahead. I just don't want to be put back on the kitty table, I guess. You're not. You're finally being fully taken off of it. Okay. You and I, I'm your son. Well, you are my son, Jesus. You're tired. I am. <clears throat> I'll tell you what I've been up to. Okay. But there are some things that I cannot teach you. I can give you the theoretics of it, display it for you, but there are some things that you will have to do yourself, like earning respect from an established noble. If things work out the way they are supposed to... Can you send this over to Miss Ladia? Lady Omri. Wrong. Let her know will serve you. A... I guess you can say breakfast. Our house. She has eggs. House Omri has always been subservient to what I could find. House Earhart. They are one of our most loyal one of them. Olena grew up while I was gone on, after the war. Thank you. It's the Smith's work. She grew up in occupied Gwen. But her father was loyal. Taught her about King Renal and apparently Something else Our thing. house. Mm. She is here to prove herself just as much as you are. You can try it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. 
A man can lead <clears throat> while also heeding counsel. As I have taken your advice, you she will advise you. But in the end, you are my son. Mm, in days. <laughs> wow. You also needed something. I spoke to her in Crenshaw. Bacon. Mm. What if she was impressed. She adds a little bit of grease. From the things that, that you told her, she thought she'd be fighting tummies, and they can a street rat. Help. She was very pleasantly surprised, Yours, even if her pride was I hurt made a little sure bit. didn't have any bread in it. <laughs> I dare say she would not make that mistake again. Is that I would have <laughs> stuffed it in with bread <clears throat> and have it bake all together. Yours has an eggy shell. Mm. Mm. Do you both <laughs> adjust? Mm. Good morning, Longbeard. As you adjust to the way she fights, <laughs> I suspect it will get easier and easier. I've done you a disservice by being the dominant sparring partner. Right, but it's not just you at fault. You're welcome. I'm aware. It's mostly been us for the training. Service to being gone. Needless to say, I'm rectifying my oversight. Yeah, I feel pretty rectified, if I'm honest. <laughs> You did great. Let's continue training. I will. <clears throat> I'll be there in one moment. All right. Carry on, my boy. Know that I'm proud of you. Yes, Longbeard. I have something for you. Go. Alternative last four days, it's your helmet. I made breakfast for you all. Thank you. So thank you for letting me spend the night here. <clears throat> You'll like it. It's a, it's a breakfast sandwich in a way. It's bread with egg and bacon. This is really good. You should stay more often. I made hers. <laughs> well, if you ever want someone to help cook, Miss Lottie has taught me a few things that I didn't know about cooking, so. <clears throat> Maybe you'll learn a little bit more. Make sure everybody enjoys some food. Thank you, Miss Basil. I just right. run. I'm going down there. Uh, chat to make sure. Don't eat all of it, though. Make sure your uh, <clears throat> that lady friend of yours, that old friend, gets something to eat. Something <clears throat> yummy for you. I'd like to finally get to know them now. I. Would you like to eat this before or after training? I can make a guess. My suggestion is, is that you don't eat until after we're done. You'll throw it up. I was being polite. <clears throat> he called to me, It'll stay. Thank you. I'm not being disrespectful. <clears throat> I just don't want it to I'll go to waste. Over here for you. Liz will have the Lead the way. Idea to have a discussion around early morning today or tomorrow. <clears throat> I'm not interested in having a huge show every time we train. If your friends show up, you're going to practice that gaining respect thing we spoke about. Understood? Understood. I think I know a place that's a little <laughs> away from prying eyes if you're more interested. So Just avoid it altogether. When we get to our yeah. drills, yes. But for now, <clears throat> it's time to build some stamina. Okay. In my face. <laughs> Not yet, lads. Take me to the hole in the wall. To do. As you wish. Okay. <clears throat> I. It's not right. I'm it only one that way. I can only work on three things at a time. <laughs> I understand, Morton. I just wanted to check in. This leads where I think it leads. Mm-hmm. Beach. And 
And it does. Good. Follow me. As you rope. <laughs> and a few small sacks. What's this for? Both those with sand. All the way. Make sure they're good and heavy. I feel like this is going to be to my detriment in the end. Wraps today. It's damp. Rope. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Good morning. Morning, Marcus. <clears throat> I would have to be interrupting, am I? Um, I'm learning a few things. <laughs> You're learning a few things? Like what? Those should stay tight enough. Well, I'm putting weights on my legs. Now run. <laughs> okay. Well, if you were gonna run, you could have joined <clears throat> Oh my god. Don't slow down. Pick your feet up. Okay. All the way to the end. I don't care if you collapse at the end. Okay. <laughs> Lift your knees. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't slouch like that, you're gonna make it harder on your breathing. Uh, <sighs> you're almost there. Good. Pace your breathing. Just because you feel like you're out of air doesn't mean you have to act like it. <sighs> as fast as you can for this last stretch. Go. <sighs> I don't care. Your breath. I understand you're already fast, but conditioning your legs 
is a good idea though. Because sometimes it's gonna be the only difference between you getting out alive. Makes sense. Back. You can collapse over there. Stop dragging your feet. There's a reason why you're training on sand, so you pick them up. Feet pick my feet up. Okay. Pace your breathing. Burn, and it's gonna hurt like hell. Mm hmm. Just think about how embarrassing it's gonna be if I beat you. You mean when? You don't want that, do you? Yeah, here I come. Are you gonna let me beat you? Because I'll rub it in your face and tell your dad. Uh, you're going to anyway. Anyway. You can't go. <sighs> okay. 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 <sighs> <sighs> Feel a boot kind of pick you up a bit. Stand up. Crouching over like that is bad after you run. Stand up, full breath. <coughs> Wait until your heart rate slows down and then you sit down. There you go. Every morning. When I'm gone. If I find out you're slacking, I'm gonna add double the weight when I get back. Wait for every day I find out you missed. Okay. You can take those off. Feel so light. Yeah. It's kind of fun actually to do a small jog afterwards. You feel really fast. <clears throat> I, uh, yeah. <sighs> if it makes you feel any better, I got to the point. We didn't have sand where I'm from. My dad used rocks. <laughs> They hurt when they smack <clears throat> into my shins. Yeah, I bet. You're so unwieldy. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Caught your breath? Good enough. <sighs> Good. <sighs> Grab the rope. Grab the bags. Where did you have in mind to train? There's a little corner up here behind these bushes. Huh. 
Not how convenient we jogged. <laughs> so no Everything sand. Might be fast in the moment while you're fighting. Mm. But you realize that there are many positions that might put you in a place where you have to run, right? Yeah. So you need to be in shape. I usually... Fast isn't in shape. ...opt out for, uh... ...carrying heavy things to avoid... ...it slowing me down if I need to run, but you're alright if I do need to be... Weighted down with things. Aunt seems pretty intent on me wearing plate. I need to build up. It's not just about that. If you learn how to build your stamina on this beach run, and if you have to run really long distances, you're going to be able to do that. Endurance training. Right. It's not just about plate and mail. How's this? Perfect, give me the rope. Oh, I see. I remember. No, not yet. Oh, no? Okay. You're a little too willing to get tied up. You said I'm just trying to be, you know, accommodating. I don't want to question Take your shield off? You're going to learn how to fight with it. Not well, but you're going to learn what it feels like to have one. Because if you understand what it means to have one and to wield one, then you're going to learn where your own weak points are. Okay. So you're going to put that on your arm and probably spawn one. And I'm going to come at you with a sword. I'll show you a few techniques first for blocking. But if you learn how to hold it, and you learn the basic stances, and I kick your ass enough with it. If we're going to do this, you realize how many shields you're going to be against, right? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I've seen them. As much as I enjoy kicking your ass, it's my job to make sure that you learn. So, I'm going to effectively teach you how to kick my ass. I can get behind that. Put it on. Uh, I just kind of... Right? See. Oh, you're left-handed. Well... All no, right. I'm actually right-handed. I just Fine. fight with my left-handed. Should I switch? Whatever works. Whatever you're going to be the most comfortable. Oh, this is weird. It will be, but humor me. I'm up. Ow. Okay. The point of the shield, as you've probably figured out, is protection, but it's also a weapon. Built it. Not that way. This way. I see. Give it to me. Up. The reason why. Sword. Drive it down gently. If it's up here, it's a lot easier to maneuver than having to pull it up. You never drop this hand. It's also really nice because you can do this. <laughs> so it's like boxing. Keep it up. A little bit. Keep your guard up, exactly. Okay. Hold it high. That way. The maneuverability. I see.
Get used to it. That's heavy. I'm gonna do a couple swings at you. Slowly. And you're gonna realize how you're gonna have to flip that thing around. Okay. I'm sure that I'm in the right spot for this. So if a downward swing is coming in, where's the instinct? Like that, right? Perfect. And if I'm coming in this way? Too far. Your back's exposed. All it takes is... Okay. So... It's a big surface area, these heat, these heater shields. You don't have to directly block the front of you when I'm coming in this way. If you make sure that I catch just enough the edge, the sword can't continue, and I also can't come this way. Uh -huh. But what does that leave exposed? Legs. Right. Sweep. <clears throat> Whoa. Okay. So... That's what this is for? No, I'm instilling in you that one of the hardest places to block quickly is your legs. Okay. That's why they're so heavily armored with so. plate there. Right? Most days. That being said, I'm not telling you to strike with your sword. So if I come in for a swing, and I saw you try this on me the other day, That makes sense. Mm -hmm. What was flawed in my attempt then? Well, you hadn't practiced yet. Ah. And if I may be so bold, it kind of seemed like you were trying to show off. <clears throat> I'm embarrassed with a crowd, which is why I don't want you training in front of a crowd. Okay. You need to be okay with failing. It's the only teacher that's going to be the most honest with you. Right. Build up. I'm going to come in slow. You're going to block it. Okay. Still a little bit too far. Remember. Turn. Hold. Up. Straight. Side. Good. And we're just gonna do that. Okay. You got it? Yep. I'll follow the same pattern for now so you get used to it, but I'm going to increase my force. Just gonna repeat. Pay attention. You don't really need to move it far, you are right. Exactly. So now this entire time, where's your blade resting? That should be up, right? So I'm if guessing. your blade's in a rest. It depends. Because you're pretending to be me right now. Do you think it's easy when you're guarding to bring your sword up then swing from that angle you have it? Probably not. Like this, right? That's why it's always resting. Rest it on your shoulder. Take the weight off of your wrist. Don't exhaust it. Keep it ready. Right. Same pattern. I lose visibility when I go Gun. on this second strike here. I can't Trust see yourself. you at all. Okay. How will I know what your next swing would be then? If you're like <laughs> this, I can't see you at all. And maybe... Pushes it down. Don't keep it so high. If you're blocking this swing, you can peek over. Okay. Right? Yeah. 
So up. The point of the angle of the shield when you go up, you can still see me. Right. When I swing this way, you can still see me. Exactly. I see. Keep your sword arm back where you had it. And I want you to try and strike me. See how much time that took? Right. Put it up. Same pattern and then strike me. I see. Smoother. <clears throat> Doesn't that limit your avenue it of attack, though? It also means... How? It's hard to do a thrust from here. Why do you need to thrust? Well, Take it down. Shield. Strike that way. Just strike. You could also grab your hand and half-sword it if you need to thrust. Right. You don't need to become adept at fighting with a shield. The point is to understand it. So that you can fight against it. <clears throat> okay. So right now, when you're fighting, where do you feel vulnerable? Well, the legs. Obviously your shield's not the same as... Well, other shields are bigger than this. My shield is small, so I can move, but that's because I have speed. <clears throat> the Legionnaires have those big tower shields cover their entire bodies. Mm hmm They do, but it also makes them bulky. Slow. Most of them don't think to look over their shield. They cower behind it. I see. It's kind of funny. That's just a personal point. I think only bitches use shields that big. <laughs> Means you have no skill. Means you're just cannon fodder. So, legs and... What? That's it? I don't know. Is it? Well, if their arm is strapped into the shield, I... Su I suppose if you could... <laughs> Do me a favor. This one's my favorite. Doesn't get used often. Go ahead and swing at me. And then I'm just gonna disappear this way. Yeah, you're right. You're pretty open. If I just pull this shield and bend your arm as far back as I can. Okay, okay, yep. I see, I see, I see. Depending on who you're fighting, that shield can also kind of be a detriment. Yeah. That's more of a grapply kind of thing, though, no? When you fight with a shield, it's not elegant. That thing is a brutal force. Yeah. There's no simple rules with it. <clears throat> How about uh, baiting an you attack? You saw that yesterday when I smashed it into you. Baiting an S attack. Someone has a shield, how would you bait them to get their guard down? What did I do with you yesterday? Remind me. Kept my distance. I see. Because a lot of the time, people are going to get irritated enough to strike first. If you can avoid the initial shield bash, which people project a lot when we do that. You'll see it in the feet. You'll see it when they bow down. I see. You just speed. Get out of the way. Most people are going to lead with the shield. Keep it up. Focused here. You could even, like I said, once you bait that attack, go for their legs. Okay. It's a mind game half the time. People use shields a lot because they're terrified. They're impatient. You let them come to you. I see. Come on.
Mm-hmm. Gonna have to attack me. There we go. See? see. Now who's in trouble? Oh, I would say me. Yep. Sorry about this. And see, they're gonna reel like that, and then I get a nice slice of <clears> the <throat> back. Yep. Especially if you have those daggers. Yeah. Sorry, Pain's a good teacher. Uh, that is exactly what Hans says. I remember the first time he tried to teach me how to multi-fight him and Haskell. It was just 20 minutes of them either side mm. of me just fucking wailing on me. <laughs> I still didn't learn much. Takes time. It does. If you don't get to train every single day, then it takes more time. Okay. Alright. So if you light taps... Get used to holding the shield. It seems... It seems like a sword will always be faster than a shield, right? It's built to be faster. It is. That's why you have to uh, apply a little flare. So I taught you that the downward strike is the quickest one you can get out, right? Okay. I'm gonna have you give it a try. Come on. Hit me. <laughs> okay. You moved your shield. It went way out this way. So like that, but that blocks my... What does it block? My hand. I can't go any lower, because the shield's in the way. So I'd need to move it, right? Give me this. It's not... Still. This... Doesn't work. This. Leave the room for your arm. Right. Keep it sideways, at an angle. Tilted, I see. That's why I said I don't like the big ones. Yeah. Like, it leaves my legs open now. So there's a balance to it. You're not worried about it. Half the time, most people you're fighting are focused up here. I'm teaching you the leg secret because a lot of people don't realize think they're... And again... You're not learning to fight with the shield, so that's a good point. Okay. That you notice that. Their eyes appear. Mm-hmm. All right. Again. <laughs> Unguarded. My shield was on my Did other hand. Point. <clears throat> I know. I'm showing you another point. I see. The moment you strike like that, the moment you follow through, move. It doesn't matter which way you're moving. Do not be a solid target. Defend yourself. Strike. Pull back. I see. Mm -hmm. It's not too dissimilar from fighting with a dagger. 
It's just a smaller shield. Yeah. I keep forgetting this bit. I'm only making you hold it like that so you understand. Because you're right. Once I swing and I come back up, that's what the shield's for. Side. You can tell that it's either going to come this way or it's going to come this way. There's no way that I can go like, thi like this. Ugh. Right? Right. So you know. <laughs> you know. That it's either going to be and the likelihood of it coming from here, dropping a shield, they're an idiot. So it's either coming from this way or this way. Okay. Interesting. That limits avenues of attack. Makes sense. It does. It's a deadly combo, a heater shield and a sword, but. It's not without its weaknesses. You just have to play the game. <clears throat> hmm. And you have to be patient. I saw that you have shields and stuff around the forge. Mm. I suggest that you practice with one while I'm gone. I could uh, make a training shield or something. You can despawn this. Mm -hmm. To something out of wood and iron. <sighs> okay. I want you to practice, because when we come back, we're going to spa with shields. Alright. I don't care who you practice with, either. Just make sure that they're not pulling any punches. Hmm. Okay, I know a few people. You just have to get used to using it. Again, your your goal is not to get to expert level with a shield. You just need to understand how it works and how it hinders you. So I can eventually beat you. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see. <laughs> While I'm gone, I want you to jog, and I want you to do the drills. Okay. When you get back, we can talk about more. And I want you to write. Keep up with your writing, jeez. Uh, write what? Just random things, or like, just start a m memoir, or...? You know what? Write me a letter every day about what you did that day. Okay. I want to know about what you ate. I want to know who you talked to. I want to know what the color of the sky was. Anything that gets you to expand your spelling and your verb usage. Okay. I'll get some parchment and some ink and quill. Oh, don't be a baby, it's not that bad. <laughs> Do you know where we're going? What's this four-day ration thing? My assumption is after the conversation that we had yesterday that the Lord probably wants me to follow up on some things. If he has Crenshaw working on some things, I assume that he wants answers and other, but does not want to leave the city himself. I see. Hole in the wall is convenient. Yeah. Also kind of pointless that we have walls to begin with, but I won't get into that. Guards seem kind of lazy. They're all corrupt. If I follow this road back, does it take me back through the main way? Yeah. Um, follow it up here, and then we take a right along the way we came in last night. Hmm. You didn't vomit today. That was a surprise. Yeah. Well, I didn't eat much. I only had like two or three mouthfuls, so... Better shape than I thought. Running my whole life. 
see. Hmm. Mm hmm. Just thinking. Anything I should be appraised of? Are you fishing for a compliment? That was happening now. No, I'm just. If something's on your mind. Though I. You know, a compliment wouldn't go far. A few things. If you're willing to give them out. Congratulations. I'm surprised you didn't fall over and die. That's very sweet of you to say. Thank you. You're welcome. No, I was just thinking about the predicament that you're in. Oh? Being perfectly candid. I spoke to you about it previously. In a unique situation, being an adopted heir to the Lord. Mm. It's something I've lamented on a few times too, yes. It's going to be hard to... Have you lamented on the fact that there will be those who do not see yeah. you as his son? Yeah. It's going to be hard to convince and... I mean... And the fact I'm a drow for one thing, and the fact that I'm adopted for another thing. <sighs> yeah. But strange times. When we I work guess. on making you presentable enough, they don't look at that. Okay. Also, could you just stand up straight? That'll go a long way if you fix your posture. Chin up. Act like you have something to prove, not like a sad dog. Oh god. Don't have to fold your arms. This is uncomfortable. About self-esteem, Kyler. Because you've spent your whole life running and looking down. Look forward to what you have ahead of you, not at your feet. <clears throat> Let's go eat. Also, do I want to know why there was a bathhouse worker in your house? <laughs> she wasn't there when I went to sleep. And a girl with bruised face of facial features? Um, you have to ask Tazim about that one. The girl in question was um, kidnapped a couple of days ago. <clears throat> She's actually someone of important. I see. Well, she's back, I suppose. She was, uh, tortured by Imperials. Hey there. Hey, Marcus. How was the morning? Uh, eventful. Learned a few things. Oh, sure. What are you guys up to? Just about to go eat. How you doing today? Eat! I should join you. <laughs> yeah, I'm come on doing in. good. Actually, now that you mention it, I think I want to fight you. You want to fight me? Yeah. Well, that's good. That's good, because I'm going to need a sparring no. partner. Smack some sense into you? Oh, yeah, yeah. That. I'm uh, learning how to use a shield in combat, so if you're willing to not pull punches, then sure, we can go a few rounds. <laughs> Absolutely. Why not? Let me grab this. What do we have in? Um, Miss Basil cooked up some kind of sandwich that has all breakfast things in it. So... A breakfast thing... A sandwich? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. oh. That sounds like a delight.
How's your day looking, Marcus? <laughs> it's looking good. Uh, you must forgive me, I could not join you for the morning, uh, whatever the such. Busy, busy as usual. It's okay. We're trying to do it away from prying eyes and such. Right. Makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> the beach is good, because there's nothing of interest there, so that always mm -hmm. works. Exactly. All right. I'll give it a go. When you do your morning jogs, do you run to the end of the beach? Is that what you do? Mm-hmm. There's nothing of interest all the way down. Hmm. It's actually really good for you. That's why I've asked you every time. Yeah. I'll probably tag along. If he doesn't run every morning, tell me. Understood. I need to know every single day he doesn't go for a run. I'll keep the tallies. Yeah. I'll etch it into my belt. That way I'll never forget. Screw out. <clears throat> Which actually isn't bad. Joking about that part. Hmm. Kind of a weird mix, but it works. And it tastes a lot better after running. It's... it's... it's interesting. You know. It's got good... what is it called? Mouthfeel. Mouthfeel? Please mm -hmm. never say that again in my presence. Oh, oh. sorry, lady. <clears throat> Olena, please. Colin. Oh, Lena. Uh, it's a culinary term. It's not meant to be anything out of sorts. Um, yeah, where I'm from, it means I... something very different. Oh. Okay. It just doesn't sound a coming. Right. It's, it's like moist. More of a cultural thing, I suppose. Huh. You know, some people have like a really bad yeah, reaction that to way. that, I guess. I'm very, uh, how do you say? Sometimes a more form of a function. A little bit. Mm. Mm. Which is weird, because roses are my motif. But, uh, what do you have fun uh, for today? Anything exciting? I've got some study to do. I need to check in with a few people. Um, okay. I have to get provisions. Hmm. Provisions. I can uh, take you somewhere if you need to. Hmm? Sounds good. Let me know when you're done eating and we can go. Uh, how can I help today? Do you know where we can get provisions for cheap? I'm thinking about going to Vezrin, but you know how Vezrin is. <laughs> right. The coin cousin. You want to go to the coin cousin for everyday essentials. I happen to know he's been stockpiling hard tech. Ooh. Hard tech. Okay. Could probably work a deal out. You know, on hard tech, we can we find can something else. Go to Maybe some cured meat. Mr. Wainwright. Yeah, it's the smartest thing to carry. It's just not very good. <laughs> there's a great salam salesman in well, town. What about Mr. Well, there's salam, but what about Mr. Wainwright? He has, um. Because of the war effort, he has Theosian rations. Those are. Those are nice. I swear, is this just like an open... No, that's... How many people live here? That's Cyrus, that's... Hmm? That's one of, uh, the lords. Oh, hey, Cyrus. Bathhouse workers. Lordsmen. Dwarves. Yep. Beaten women. Yep. I'm gonna see a fucking cow in here today. No. No, he's a farmer. But close? It's <clears throat> become kind of a hostel. Cyrus, have you met, uh... Lady Armory, Olana. Uh, not uh, officially, yes. <clears throat> My lady. <clears throat> lady Armory, this I is, a, uh, I guess, Mr. Uh, oh, sorry. Capable of introducing myself. <clears throat> I'm just used to doing it for people, I'm sorry. My name is Cyrus Stillwater. You may use whichever name you prefer, but for the few people here that isn't using one that isn't their own. <clears throat> I'm a, uh, 
Old soldier, I'd put it that way. Easiest way to describe. <clears throat> Very much. <sighs> Part of the history here. But no, let me sour your breakfast. <clears throat> We're kind of a ragtag bunch right now. I'm just not sure how to feel about every horse, cart, and person walking in when I'm told that there are things. Oh, that are I had the same feeling. Delicate nature. It is kind of a hostile, yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. normally are you are you capable of speaking? I just, I'm curious, because half the time you talk to me, it feels like your lips are so close to my ass. Can you relax, please? <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> so formal. Are you eating crackers in water again, Cyrus? Didn't mean for now that she's uh, that he's, he's a new invention called wheat fins. Huh. Oh, wait. No, frosted mini wheats. I see. Oh. All right. <clears throat> I know I, my lady. <clears throat> if it would soothe your mind, perhaps we can exchange information. Huh? Would you know who I am if I'm going to be walking in here unannounced? If you're comfortable telling me, then I'm okay to listen. Well, given what little I know about you, I figure one of the few people in the world, at least here, who I could tell who might understand. <clears throat> I'm not a knight. I'm not anyone really with a name. But I was a good soldier. In Gwyn, before it fell. I was one of the men on the front lines of the eternal day. And one way or another, I found myself in the company of... This lot, before Adwick fell. Right around, uh, When Fairhollow was attacked. That's about when I split off from my... Forced service to the Imperium. I tracked down this lord, and well, the rest is history, I guess. And from what my understanding is, when all that happened, you were but a little girl, at least the first part. You'd be correct. About knee high. Do you mind if I ask, then? What brought you here? I'm just... <sighs> That's a long story. Can we save it for... Not, not when I have a bunch of things to do. Very well. I'm here to help. That's what matters. Well, then I'll get the important things out of the way. I'm an old man. I like my snacks. I can tell. And I do farming outside. I don't have much mm -hmm. cause for, um... the pleasantries of... the knightliness and such. I'm, I'm an old soldier. Hmm. So... And like Marcus here, you won't find me kissing your ass. I'm sorry. I prefer it. Please. Straightforward to the point. Decorum is saved for dinner tables and far too expensive wine. <laughs> and you'll get along fine just here. Glad. It was nice to meet you. I apologize about the... Lack of information between you and I. I'd like to speak to the Lord first before I divulge any information. As much as 
you seem trustworthy. I want to make sure that everything I do is cleared by him first. Out of respect. By all means. You needn't worry about me. Just an old man. And his crackers. I wonder, actually, who's older, you or him? I doubt he's over 80. He is. You'd look pretty good for 80 if that was the case. I am older than, uh, I think I'm a little older than Arn. Not by much. I still can't wrap my head around Tajim and Shariq. <clears throat> what do you mean you can't wrap your head around it? It just feels wrong. Well, well if everything goes right, we'll be stepping out of the shadows soon. Hopefully. Good. I, have to, I won't have to remember anymore. <laughs> it doesn't get any easier, you know. Well, you know, old age and all that. I mean, for you, for you it won't happen for a while, but you know what I mean. I wonder if it's worse for elves. They stay older for longer. A thousand years of arthritis does seem like a terrible yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Every time I get wounded or I feel something pull, I'm like, well, this is it. I'm stuck with this pain for a thousand years. But nothing stuck so far. What do you suppose you'd rather have fail first as an elf? Your mind or your body? My mind, I guess. If I was trapped I in... No, know, a... the idea of a crazy swordsman without any know-how... <laughs> Seems there a little scary. Are plenty of those. If I was trapped in the body, if if I was sharp and still trapped in a body that was crumbling apart, I what a prison, right? I think At it least... depends on who you have around you. Get somebody to read you books every day. I think I could handle that. All right. Well, in a I thousand years, when my day. body fails, you can read me some stories. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, we'll be reading about all the stories of all the wonderful things we did while we were alive. Maybe I should start writing about that. At the end of the day, I think it's best if the body fills first. Especially if you have people. If you don't, then by all means go crazy, but... There's nothing much worse than seeing a man lose himself. Or at least still able to walk around. Not for the people he cares for. Yeah, seeing the Baroness was... heartbreaking. Well, good news is... in our line of work, you don't usually get to that point. Gonna decorate a battlefield somewhere with my beautiful blonde and blood soaked hair. That's sad to think. You know, about. I used to have beautiful blonde hair. Is it? What? What? You don't believe me? It's just hard to picture you with, as a blonde. Was it natural? What do you mean? What do you mean, was it natural? Of course it was natural. How had... would he get blonde hair without it being natural? Uh, some of the whores in Coracators used to bleach their hair with lemon juice and leave it in the sun. You know, actually, they do it with piss as well. I wasn't going to go that Not far. Not that I would know. <laughs> yes. You know, I... Not hungry anymore, all of a sudden. Shall we go get those rations? Sure. Oh, I suppose before I 
Let you leave. Mm. Out in public, what should I call you? Olena. And in private. Olena. I don't have a title here. Very well. Olena it is. Thank you for your company, you two. It was lovely to meet you. Tell your friend next time we meet, so long as he doesn't act so formal. I'm sure we'll get along swimmingly. I liked him better last night. <clears throat> oh, good timing. Hey. Good timing. Is your father around? Uh, no, not at the moment. We'll be around later, though. <laughs> you doing okay? Good. Yep. You? Getting by. Yeah. What is it? Late night? Yeah, don't worry about it. Is that rock you wanted? What? How? There's Why did he give me. it to you? To give to you. I don't know. I guess he thought that I would see you later during the night, but... Obviously, our paths didn't cross, so... What changed his fucking mind? Did you speak to him? He just handed it over and said, Give this to Sarah when you see her. Thank you, Sharik. Mm. I hope it does what you want it to do. We'll catch up later, okay? Me too. I gotta handle some things. Stay safe. Always, you too. Stay out of trouble. Ezrin. Doesn't look like he's in. You know I'm going to ask, right? Go ahead. I wasn't going to ask until I saw you pressed up against a wall after. Yeah, I need to, um... Figure things out before I act on anything, but I have a bad feeling, that's all. She uh, made me a promise, and I think she might have broken it. And if that's the case, it's <clears throat> a little heartbreaking. But I'm not gonna. Is that common for you? People in their lives breaking their promises? Or is it this particular person that it hurts from? It happens more than I like. I see. You have bad taste in friends, then. Haven't exactly had the uh, pick of the crop. And they come through when they need to. Ah, yes. 
Because that's what friendship, I'm assuming, is about. Pain 90% of the time and 10% is when it's worth it. Not always, but... What do I know? When you care about people, you open yourself up to attack. It's part of it, I suppose. Hence why I was asking last night if you found it easier. Sometimes it feels like it would be. Harry. Hey, have you seen Vezrin around today? I have not. Okay. Is he not in his shop? No, we we'll just look there. What's going on over there? That was brave of you, Hoppo. Just don't get yourself hurt. You have a good one. Yeah, take care. Um, I don't know what Ms. Basil and I'm going to do. I was just making fun of the Imperials. Hang on. Jokes aside, quick thing I need to ask you. Sorry from One second. Know. He's hard to find. I've flirted with him in public, so he feels yeah. bad. <laughs> what? Do you still need honey? Yeah, sure. No mind my apples. I have honey. I saved one for you. All right. How much will you? Uh, fifty-five. For a unit of honey. <laughs> Oh, that is tragic. You know what? Leave them there for a second. Just leave them there for a second. It's yeah. fine. They're bruised. <laughs> Thank you. Can I jar honey? Yeah, thanks, Hopper. You haven't seen Vezrin around today, have you? Pleasure. For him. Uh, no, I've only seen... Oh, thank you. Nice, 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 um... Apples. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, we'll try the, um... Marketplace then. Uh, uh, the the fuck out. Uh, oh, there he is. One more thing. No. Hey, you, Scourge Boy. Excuse me? Sorry, it works. <laughs> Shriek, sorry. Uh, I left wood at the forge, too. Oh, Chuck. I don't know if you get Severed, so if you get him to turn it into. Yep. I'm pretty sure. Or make Severed do it, it's fine. Appreciate it. I'll leave you alone now. I'm sorry. You're just hard to find. Uh huh. Morning, kid. Uh, You're pacing. You okay? Morning. Sad but aimless at the moment. There's supposed to be a job today, so I'm just. I uh, suppose waiting on them to give the word to show up back to the guild. Usually it's around noon. Uh, yeah, typically. Apparently both Sarah and I were requested for this job, so. Mm. I'll see what it is. Best How about yourself? Uh, talking to Vezrin. I need to buy some things. Thankfully, we've actually found him. Ah. If you don't mind, i got to grab him before well, I Well, I mean, hey, if you're interested in some spider silk, they're selling some lovely long black dresses made of it. I 20 silver a piece. Would not fit me. Thank you, though. Morning, Torty. <laughs> hey. Who has the... Oh, Morning. there's dresses? Where? Yeah. Well, ah, they had a move at the uh, it's actually uh, a red gemstone that's worth about thirty silver. Martha ah. was showing me this morning. Fuck. Cool. Then I might have I, to um, buy one. I have a feeling it's going. Bought this honey yesterday. You said you wanted to teach me to cook a few things. I I don't know if this is like useful or anything, but I figured it could be fun to use. Really? Oh. Huh? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how cooking works, so oh, I just yeah. grabbed it. No, it's silk. Good. Oh, okay. Right. Oh. Can we talk? Huh. All right. Sure. Mm. Speaking of. Need to buy a sign from you, Vez, when you're free. Any progress, perchance? I have a job coming up sure. today. Come on by the shop. Oh, right. You know it takes three days to make a fucking understand. I need to order a sale bell from the house of a barrister. <laughs> Not the drive by merchant is. talk. What the fuck? Hmm? I don't know what a barrister is. When you're a busy man about oh, town, I'm you a, need to make deals on the fly. Uh, <laughs> the eyes of the law. <laughs> so when you can't represent yourself, 
uniform. I'm sorry. It, you left yourself wide open. <clears throat> I no, tend to really let my defenses was... down around my friends, at least who I thought were my friends. Oh. Do you want us to wait outside You're while so you two wounded, talk? I can hear it in your voice. I can tell you feel guilty because of how your tone of voice. We'll be outside. Sure. <sighs> Everybody always so chummy with the Imperials here. Unfortunately, they're ingrained and. <clears throat> they are in charge of the medical clinic. Most people have gone to them, or oh, needed to go to them, one way or another. I'd rather bleed out. <sighs> Thankfully, we supply ourselves with potions to stop ourselves from having to go there. But don't ever let one of them touch me. You understand? Even if it saves your life. And I live a life saved by them. As you wish. If that is your wish. Yeah. Like it's so noisy around you. Yeah. Venora actually, um, she's talking to me. I don't really like crowds. I've figured as much. Sorry for putting you through then. Fine. Just not used to it. Yeah, I bet this could be a bit of a shock coming to Gradia and Nautis and just seeing everything happening out in the open and all at once and... Imperial steel not slapping people down for having fun, or... Yeah. Silks everywhere. Skin. They were so loud. Is that what it's like back home? I don't know what she's going to do to you. Rigid. But I will try to find out. I met with one once. Cold. Called themselves cogs in the machine. They weren't really... People just Pretty much. part of it. Yeah. You know. What an existence. He knows everything. I had my dad. You two were close. Good. Keep an eye on the rooftop and don't do anything. After the battle, he didn't. Uh, out exactly what he, wants. he wasn't the same. I can see Couldn't walk, but it didn't stop him, him from doing everything he could to make sure that I had everything I needed. As is the duty of a father, I suppose. So they tell me. Means we got to spend a lot of time together. That's good. I'm happy for you. It's weird. Even after all this time of leaving him behind, it's still weird. You've never really been away from him for that long, have you? I know this is where I'm supposed to be, but I do hold a little bit of guilt in my heart for just leaving. I don't even know if he's still alive right now. Well, if he's anything like you, he'll fight tooth and nail, regardless. No. Nothing like me. No. He calls me rigid. You. Him for him. Rigid. Yeah. Wow. I feel like that's sarcasm. <laughs> Just a little jab. Forgive me if I offended. I'm not trying to be cruel about your friends. 
I just think that you need to have more self-esteem. They have friends, that's fine, but... I think you need to understand you're worth more than somebody that only gives you their attention when it means something, or they need something. I don't understand fully, I'm sorry. It shouldn't be an exchange. At least not how I think it should be. You said that your friends show up when you need them. Yeah, but... Just make sure it's not because... They need something from you. Ah, I see. Um, more often than not, it's not the case. But... <clears throat> it is Gradio. Capital of trade and coin and such. Hello, Sharik. Um, is my sword ready? I believe so. I'm just in the middle of something right now. If you come back around noon, I can get it I to you. I can wait. Of course. Afraid of leaving me alone in the city. Oh. Hello again. When he's about, seen. yeah. Significantly less stressed than the previous time we saw. Yes, this the labor where. Oh, I guess we call it. Looks like shit, but it breathes. I think your ability to formally introduce rags is quite eloquent. I would choose to take that as a compliment. And dismiss the sarcasm entirely and actually take it for what it was that you said. Did he, um. He doesn't realize I wasn't being sarcastic. This is my home. I think he does now. I, I just assumed, given the. Uh... Never mind, thank you. Mm. I, uh. I assume, considering there's no panic, he made it back alright. Oh, yeah. No, we just took a while, um. You know, I didn't want to go fast on the horse, so we came back after dark. Right. Okay. I've noticed. Haven't seen him yet this morning, and uh, well, as, as per usual, people of a gaggle gathers in front of the blacksmith, as if it were the tavern. Take care. It's a survival yep. tactic. Told you. I don't agree with it. All right, next customers. Everything okay? Do you want to know how much silver I made today? Go on. Seventy-four silver! <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> yeah, I'll need to talk with you and your father tonight about that. Okay. Been I'll saving for a while. I'll let him know. Thank you, Sarah. Mm. Mm, have fun. Don't get hurt too bad. Is he gonna hurt me? I don't know. He has been rather catty lately. Best friend's catty. That is true. That doesn't sound like me. I'm leaving. That was so cringe. I'm just letting the both of you know if it falls with a receding arrow. No, what can I do for you? We need to purchase some, uh. stable food for a couple of days. Oh, is that all? Well, you can open up the door if that's it. But I like your company so much. <sighs> well, my company's not cheap. Can you pay the premium? <laughs> I didn't know you started working at the bathhouse. I know you have a lot of hard tech. Is there something with a bit more, uh... I don't know. Flavor? That does the same thing. Fine, I'm not a child. You know... Got a bunch of raw food, but it's not as cost-effective. Hard tech would do then. So did we manage to? Uh, did you manage I can to, survive uh, on hard Actually, it would be cheaper. Days. She managed to shrug Sanders off finally. It would be cheaper to get the raw food, but you'd have to cook it every day. Yeah, and then... he's actually thinking that a hard tech. Extremely bad it's idea. bulky. Hard tech will work fine. How much? Whatever's the least amount of bulk that'll get me through four days. It's it's I I assume. All right then, four pieces of hard tech. 